to help protect the health of the public and reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission in Toronto, city councils approved the extension of the COVID-19 virus until September. Here is Eagle News correspondent Cherry Recolizado with the details. Toronto, along with the rest of the province of Ontario, will enter step one of its reopening three days ahead of schedule. This is largely due to the progress in the vaccine rollout and the significant decrease on the provinces and the city's daily COVID cases. Toronto Mayor John Tory announced Wednesday that the city will extend its current COVID-19 bylaws until September 30. Let's listen in to the mayor. As we begin the province's safe and cautious reopening, we all have a role to play in making sure that it is successful. We need people to keep wearing their masks and following public health advice. City Council will vote later today on extending the mask bylaws because we don't want to lose the gains we have made in reducing the spread of this virus. I don't see a mask as a major inconvenience. I think most of us are accustomed to masks now and understand how they keep us healthy. They help protect the essential workers who've been working throughout the pandemic and many others who will be back to work starting Friday. And of course, they protect as well our co-workers, our family members, our friends and others protect us from them and them from us to some extent. Toronto's Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Eileen Zavilla, also spoke about the importance of remaining vigilant, especially in the face of the new Delta variant. In my view, Toronto is on a solid path forward, though a narrow path, while we watch what the Delta variant does here. The Delta variant is a force to be reckoned with more transmissible, more infectious. We at Toronto Public Health and our partners across the city remain ready to respond quickly should the need arise. And certainly, with the Delta variant here, we will want to do two things in particular. Increase first and second dose vaccine coverage and proceed selectively in daily life. After all these months, I think most people are inherently cautious. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you have to. Dr. Davila also mentioned the number of new cases of the Delta variant here in Toronto. Take a listen. There are currently 122 confirmed cases of the Delta variant here in Toronto. That may not sound like a lot, but the confirmation process is complex and takes time. And moreover, we've seen what happens when a variant suddenly explodes. The good news is that evidence from other parts of the world proves the vaccines are holding strong against the Delta variant and are continuing to protect people, particularly with two doses of vaccine. As of Wednesday, June 9th, Toronto reports 170 new COVID-19 cases, 22 new hospitalizations, 12 new deaths, 287 recoveries, and 2.4 million vaccine doses have been administered. In Toronto, Cherry Recolizado, Eagle News. We live in interesting times.